Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to XM.com. It's uh, Wednesday, July 28th, and we have the Fed policy announcement later today. So that's an opportunity to uh, take a closer look at the dollar yen and see what the uh, technical outlook for the pair is. So zooming into the daily chart, uh, we can see that the 20-day uh, moving average uh, managed to keep upside movements once again yesterday, sending the price towards the 109.73 support region where it is currently trying to rebound. Overall, the pair is still trading in a sideways market in the short-term picture following the drop below the uh, long-term sending trend line, which failed to extend below the Chimoku cloud and the 109.05 level. And therefore, uh, that rebound uh, continues to keep some optimism in the market. Uh, however, looking at the RSI, uh, the indicator is also in a sideways move around its 50 neutral mark and the MACD uh, is muted as well around its zero signal line. So uh, technically, uh, this suggests that the pair may keep trading within a range in the short term picture. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we have the uh, Fed policy announcement today, so some volatility cannot be ruled out. And in this case, I would look for a close above the uh, 20 day moving average on the upside and the 110.40 resistance level for a sharper increase towards the uh, broken ascending trend line seen around 111.20. Uh, not far above from here, uh, the area between 111.70 and 112.21 uh, was where the price peaked back in 2020. So any step above uh, this region uh, may prove a more important achievement, uh, likely driving the price towards the 113 psychological level. Uh, now in the bear scenario, if the price uh, drops below 109.73, that uh, wouldn't be a big worry unless uh, the decline extends below the cloud and the previous low of 109.05. In this case, uh, the next stop could be within the 108.555 and 108.32 region, while lower it would be interesting to see if the sell-off can bridge the support between 107.85 and 107.47 where April's rebound took place and that such a violation could bring the crucial 200-day moving average next into view. So that's all for dollar yen today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.